I hear dead people and I see dead people when I read, it's just like a series of images and like th thoughts are going through. And I'm there and I'm just hearing it going, okay. And my mind is going so fast and I have to figure out where it goes. You kind of have to be like a detective and a doctor and all different things as you're doing it to decipher what it actually means. Well, you've seen her psychic readings on her show, but tonight she presents her first stage show in Connecticut. Yeah, here is psychic medium Patty Griffin joins us live here on CT Style. How is this show tonight going to be different from your, your typical shows? Well, there's going to be 125 people. We're sold out, and I have to... I'm going to be on stage, which is a little different for me. Yeah, because normally you're roaming around, going right up to people, so this, it's got to add a whole other element. It does. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to stay on the stage or I'm going to jump right off. And I was yeah. like, how the like, you probably will go find who's talking to you, right? Yes. Who they belong to. Yes, that's what I think I'm going to have to do. All right, so for some of our viewers who might not have seen Patty before, you can hear and see dead people. Yes. Are, and are they in the studio right now? I don't see any now, but they're always with us. So they always it's like come an energy. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah, tell, wow. tell us about a few instances because you say sometimes it's hard to differentiate somebody who may be present here on Earth uh, as we know and then somebody who is passed on. But to you, sometimes it's difficult to know the difference. Well, yes, because I see them. So I could be driving and there's people walking on the street. And I'm like, well, that's an odd place for somebody to walk. Are they real or not? Yeah. Are they yes. here? Or and not? then I'll realize that no, that they're actually already passed because I'm able. <sighs> my sense is different than other people so I'm able to see them and sometimes they'll present themselves to me just like you and mm -hmm. you guys are here. Wow. And when did this start mm -hmm. happening for you? You know I've had it my whole life I just mm -hmm. thought it was different like I thought you know there was just not something wrong but I'm like okay and then it was about six years ago where mm -hmm. I couldn't deny it and it got to the point where I realized that it was just part of yeah. who I was and my gifts yes. And at these readings, uh, we'll, we'll find a lot of people who go through this experience. Maybe they doubted you at first, and then afterward, they kind of have uh, kind of the, this coming to Jesus moment, this thing that kind Belief, of... Belief, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so we have some of these uh, people who had something to say. When a medium gets me to cry, then I know it's the real deal. I was basically in tears in there, so it's, it's a, it was a good experience for me. She can't possibly know this stuff. She can't possibly know it. It's things that, even the biggest skeptic, it's just things that she couldn't just make up. Pretty wild stuff there. How, how do you feel when you are able to make that connection and somebody gets pretty emotional? I, I know it's happened to both Teresa and I <laughs> here sure on set a couple times. It's amazing. It's amazing that I'm able to help people connect with their loved ones and be able to let them know that their loved ones are still with them. So I'm, I'm very, when I see it happen, I just can't believe that I'm able, people come up to me and say, oh, you changed my life. I'm like, really? Aww. Because I'm just giving a message. I'm just doing what God intended me to do. So. And you said in the beginning of the show that it's kind of like a little bit of detective work. They're not coming right out and giving you a message. Yes. Yeah. Well, because they'll show different things because they can't talk like you and I. Okay. So they're not alive. So they're in spirit and mm -hmm. so they'll show something that means something to the medium and then the medium has to kind of figure out what that means so sometimes like Ryan said last time one word will get them to say oh my god that's it yeah. and sometimes it's like we have to figure out what does that word mean to you like they're gonna show me roses because it's my favorite flowers mm -hmm. but it's also a name that starts with an R so there's so many different things that it could mean yes on, on so many different levels and you, you mentioned talking to these people you kind of communicate you're sort of the uh, the the well, we've seen the movie Person. Ghost, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of the Whoopi Goldberg character. It definitely is. Yeah. That that's how it is, and they're just you're, they're communicating to let you know they're with you. Because wherever you go, your loved ones are with you. So their physical body leaves, and then they're trying to communicate. Like somebody could be sitting crying, saying, "I miss my mom," and mom's right there trying to get oh. her to let you know she's oh with goodness. you. So, so do you personally have a full conversation? Like I know you said you've had conversations with your mother and I, I mean people who don't exist to us here on, on earth. You've, you've had yes, full-fledged conversations. They will. They'll come and start talking to me and I'm over the, the okay what's that thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know they'll just start talking to me about everyday things or what I should do. It's kind of weird to others but not weird to me because it's part of who I am. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, good luck tonight. We are rooting for you. You're going to have to come back and let us know when your next, next stage show is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you have two other events coming up that people can still buy tickets to because tonight's sold out, right? Yes, tonight is sold out. But on Sunday, I'm going to be at the River Glen in South Barry at 10 a.m. And there's still, I think, seven seats left for that. And then next Thursday, I'm doing something for the continuing education of Shelton and Trumbull and um, the Shelton, in Shelton Intermediate School. And there are still 18 seats left for that. And All that's right. going to be on stage as well. Cool. well check it out. Thank that's you so much for being here, Patty. Thank